Our coverage of fall camp here at Liberty continues for the Liberty Flame Sports Network. I'm Nick Pierce visiting here with Flame senior running back DJ Abner. And DJ, it's your last fall camp. We were just talking about it a few minutes ago. Has it been any different for you knowing that, that it is your last one? Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm definitely homing in on a lot more, focusing on a little bit more details. And I'm also trying to enjoy every day that we got coming out here. You know, every morning we wake up at 6.30, got to go mandatory breakfast or something like that. And, all, and oftentimes you kind of sit down and you look at that and you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. But now I'm kind of energetic when I'm going through the process. So I'm enjoying it. You feel like that this team has progressed from where it needed to be from, you know, even last year to, to this point now? You feel like you're getting ready for the start of the season? Oh, by far, by far. This is a completely different team than it was last year. Last year we took it to another another level of playing football. And I think this year it's, it's going to be on completely another level with Coach Gill focus on really deep, like he's really homing in on details. Coach Stem is really homing in on our little details, whether it's a step or anything like that. So yeah, I think this team is going to be great this year. With Des Rice back in the fold now, you guys kind of preseason two-headed monster. That's the way it's being thought of. How have the reps gone in practice? Do you, are you guys both, you know, getting ready at this point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're both working with ones. We both, you know, we kind of we got a little rotation going on, mm -hmm. but we also playing. Both of us are also playing huge roles in special teams. So, like, um, coaches are really trying to, you know, I guess balance the time in of both of us. And I think we're getting we're getting it really we're getting it rolling a little bit now. We're starting to get into game preparation and. It's honestly going up, you know. We're getting along in the backfield. We got a couple of plays that's, that's going to surprise a lot of people. So we're really excited about it. How do you anticipate it playing out? I, I know you don't want to speak for coach, but I mean, you know, as far as in in games, is it going to be you think someone on one series or just a hot hand, or how do how do you anticipate it going? I think honestly, it's going to be a hot hand. Well, mm -hmm. um, but at any given moment, he could be hot and I could be hot, or we could be hot at the same time, but because we feed off of each other. Mm -hmm. So if, honestly, if we see, like say for instance, I see Dez going really hard, I'm like, okay, I need to step my game up. If I see Dez sees myself going hard, he says he needs to step his game up. So it's kind of a competition, but it's like friendly competition because we both want each other to be successful. We both want to rush for a thousand yards. So this year we're kind of looking at two head of monster, 2,000 yards, let's do it. <laughs> I know you're probably a little bit relieved too because there probably no more of those 40 carry games that you had, <laughs> you had to do sometimes last year. Oh my goodness, <laughs> you know, to God be the glory with those carries, I don't know how I was able to get through them, but you know, everything is possible with him. I'm really happy with that, to have Dez back. I'm, I'm honestly happy to have Ty back as well and a couple of other guys are coming along as well that, are, that have been working really hard and I'm really excited about it. You mentioned the other guys. Let's let's talk about some of those. Who who beyond you and Dez, who are a couple of other running backs, if it's a Todd Macon or a Frankie Hickson or whoever, that have maybe kind of elevated themselves here in fall camp? Um, I would say that someone that's really been standing out to to us in the room would probably be Carrington Mosley. Um mm -hmm. he's finally he's coming into his body. He's uh he's really confident about what he's doing. He knows what exactly what he's doing. Um he's he's really honestly creating a, a little bit more controversy in the room. Because he he wants to get a little bit more playing time now, so it's 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 going to be crazy. But he's he's been really doing his job, and he's been really focused this fall at camp. And Todd's coming off this injury, and he's been working really hard. And for anyone coming off a broken foot or anything like that, it's incredible for them to come to see them come out here and perform and make cuts like they would normally do. And then you know Frankie Hickson, he's coming along. He's a freshman. He has a lot to learn, but his head is where it needs to be. So I'm like those guys are they're young, but they're coming and they're coming fast. <laughs> it's talking to a couple of the other guys, you know, about the schedule this year, more road games than home games for the first time in a while. You do open at home. That's exciting. But, yes. uh, you know, you won a couple of big road games down the stretch last year at Coastal, number one team in the country, playoff game at James Madison. Did that do something for this team? Does this team have a little more bounce in its step now? Oh, well, yes, it does. We have we definitely walk around with a little – we have a little bit more confidence, a little bit more edge to our to our playing style. Um, it's definitely a confidence booster, winning those games on the road as well, you know. Sometimes you you come in the game as an underdog or you come in the game as – not being believed to play with those type of teams. But, you know, going on the road and winning those games and then coming into this season, knowing that we won those games on the road, yeah, yeah, we we definitely have a little edge on it. We have a little edge. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking forward to the show here coming up on September 5th. One last thing before I let you get out of here. Speaking of September 5th, I know we talked the other day, that's going to be the first time that your dad's going to watch you play in a college football game. A little bit emotional for you, I'm sure. How excited are you for that game? I'm honestly really excited. Um, 
he hasn't been able to come to a lot of football games. And this one is my, my senior year. He's coming to the first home game. So it's even crazier. And then he's coming from Bradenton, Florida, all the way up to Lynchburg, Virginia on a flight. And um, it's, it's emotional. It's, it's, a, yeah. it's a great feeling. You know, sometimes you don't really understand some things when you're growing up in childhood. And then now that I'm older and I'm able to respect him and he's able to respect myself, uh, I, I'm, I'm astounded by what by what God's doing here, you know. God brought me here for a reason, and um, I've been able to, you know, talk to my dad and, you know, kind of mince a relationship. And it's it's a, it's a very emotional thing for me, and I'm very excited about it. And I, I honestly hope that we just continue to grow from where we are. And I think he'll enjoy our atmosphere here. You know, we got 20 plus thousand fans <laughs> coming, and it's gonna be rocking. And you know, I'm. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. I just, <laughs> it's hard to put it in words. Yeah, it's yeah. really hard to put that in words, but I'm really happy. I'm excited for it. Good stuff. DJ, appreciate the time. Look forward to watching you and Dez tear it up out there this year. Yes, sir. That's DJ Abner, Flames running back with us. My name is Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.